<laughs> Good evening, class. Today's lesson, we are going to have a look at DC Universe Classics Wave 11, whoa, Figure 3, Dead Man. We have a look at the packaging here before we open him up. We can see the dude in there. We can also see a piece of Kilowog down there, an arm. Over here it says we have the right arm, which we get a quick little picture of there it's with Kilowog's ring. If we look at the back, we can take a quick look at some of the other figures in the series, although we've been over most of this before, I think. There's Cat Matui, Shark, Dead Man, the Cyborg Superman, The Question, John Stewart, Steppenwolf, and then finally Kilowog. We've also got a biography. Uh, basically, we've got Boston Brand. He was a high wire artist who died. He was kind of brought back as a ghost by the goddess Rama. Was it Kushna? And he can assist the dead past and all that great stuff. And his abilities is you know he's a ghost. He can possess people. He can move between dimensions and all that other good stuff. And he just kind of looks cool. Okay, so on this side, same picture as the other side. And then back in the front there, we can see Dead Man. So I think in a second or two, we're going to open up this package. And we shall look at Dead Man a little bit closer. So I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, we have Dead Man out of his package. So we can have a closer look at him. So... Now, again, I, uh, I I keep saying this, I know it's going to be a broken tune. Um, don't know much about Dead Man. I think I saw him in an episode of uh, Justice League Unlimited. That's really my only exposure to him. Although, after seeing this figure, I have to admit, I'm much more tempted to, to find out more about this guy. Because I actually really, really like this figure. I don't know why, I don't really know anything about the character, but the toy is making me interested in the character itself. So, I may have to see what I can find out about this guy. So just again, a quick look at him there. Um, his coloring, well, he's got, it, I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but it's kind of a dark uh, burgundy-ish red for most of them, with highlights being here on his hood, which is more of a, we'll say, a scarlet red. I don't know. To me, red is red. This is one shade of red. This is another. Anyways, his arms, his forearms and his hands, we've got that color red. He's got that on his belt. His cute little um, footy boots there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think those are funny. And then obviously the kind of pasty grayish white for his skin up here and then a different shade of white, more of a pure kind of white for the D for Dead Man. Which this, honestly, D for Dead Man, I think we could have lost that. Seriously, um, the whole letter on my chest to show who I am gets, eh. I know a lot of characters do it, doesn't mean I have to like it. So. But that's him. In terms of articulation, it's going to be pretty similar to the rest of the DC figures. We can move his head all the way around. You know what? It's kind of appropriate for this guy, right? To have his head spin all the way around. He can move up and down a little bit. His arms are on the ball joints, the shoulders that go straight out. So this one doesn't seem to go quite as far. Hmm. Whoa. We can still rotate all the way around. We can rotate at the bicep. We can bend the elbow here and the hand will rotate at the wrist. Like the rest of them, he's got this uh, articulation joint here in his torso so he can look up and down. His waist is gonna go all the way around and his legs, the double jointed hip joint thing, so we can go forwards, we can go a little bit backwards, not much, and then we can do a pretty impressive side kick out here. We can rotate the leg at the thigh, we can bend at the knee, the one joint there, and then the foot, we can move forward and back. And again, nothing sideways. I know I was looking at sideways before, but I'm wondering if that's not supposed to do that. Yeah, I wonder if I'm actually damaging the figure. Um, our good friend Deadman here does not come with any accessories. Now, I think there might be a variant, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's one where the, his hands are more translucent instead of this color red. I'm not sure. I thought I saw that, but I could be wrong. Um, no accessories for Dead Man, because I don't think he really has any, as far as I know. But I was talking about why I like this figure, and one of the main reasons is, so far, my experience with the DC Universe um, characters or figures is that I've been finding, especially with the male characters so far, is that it seems like there's just one generic mold 
that they do little modifications on, and that's how they can follow their, their, their characters. Which, in some respects, isn't a bad thing. You know, guy in tight pants is a guy in tight pants. But, the thing I like about Dead Man here is that it looks like it is a unique mold, or at least it is for me. If there's another character that's all gaunt and withered looking, maybe he uses the same one. But it really looks like this is, it's a unique mold unto itself, and I really do like that. Everything's a little bit thinner, like he's emaciated, because he's dead. And if we look at, get a closer look here at his face, I, can, I just, I don't know, he, he looks like a zombie. That's really what it boils down to for me. The dude looks like a zombie, and maybe that's why I like him so much. I'm kind of into the zombie movie thing, and just even the way his hands are, and, and how, how skeletal he is, like, you can definitely see him as a member of The Walking Dead. Uh, even though... This character in recent times was resurrected, right? And he's he's got a white lantern ring now, and he's doing something. Did I spoil that for anybody? I'm sorry. That was what a couple months ago. Okay. So so far, I'm just gotta say I'm liking this figure. I know nothing about the character. Gonna have to learn. But he looks like a zombie in a red hood or a red is this a costume. I, what is the deal with this anyway? Eh, whatever. I still kind of like it. Now, what does he come with? This is most of the fig character. Uh, most of the f figures, characters. Sorry, in this wave, he does come with a piece of Kilowog, and here we've got the right arm of Kilowog, which we see has the all-important Green Lantern ring. Are all the Green Lanterns right-handed? Just wondering. Is it is it a conspiracy, or maybe Sinestro's left-handed? Because you know, sin sinister left Sinestro. Eh, whatever. Anyways, we've got the arm as we can see. It's nearly as big as our friend dead man here and oh if we just wanted to hit him we'd just be down he goes because this thing's got heft like you could you could you could tenderize chicken with this thing really i mean it's got that much heft i wouldn't recommend it you can get meat tenderizers for that but seriously this would have to have to do it and we'll look at this more later when we put together kilowog oh so looking forward to that but I have to say again, I'm just loving this Dead Man character. Um, if I was going, or figure, sorry, if I was going to give this figure a grade, I would have. You know what? Oh, jeez. You know what? I, I have to do it. I have to give this figure an A. The more time I spend with this figure, the more I like it. And again, I don't really know who the character is. But this is one of those ones that's going to get displayed with some of my other. Um, characters. And I don't necessarily display certain lines, just the, the figures that I really, really like, and I'm really starting to think that this one's going to join them, join the others up there, because I think this one's just excellent. So, that is my lesson on Dead Man from DCU Wave, what is it, 11? The Kilowog series. I think that's about it for me. So, class dismissed, and have a good night.